People who live and breathe lowrider cars have faced a lot of adversity, but recently one group has been able to overturn a ban on the act of cruising, which is driving your lowrider around slowly so everyone can see it. And they're hoping to use this moment to teach all of us across the country that these cars are truly a part of their identity. When is a car more than a car? Ah, oh, it's my baby. <laughs> it's my baby. I call her eye candy. It's when it's a reflection of you. It's just a joy. It's our uh, entertainment. It's our mental health and re relaxation. And it's our investment. <laughs> your family. My uncle's the one that got me into this. Your culture. When I'm in my car at night, smell the exhaust or I hear a certain song it just takes me back in time and I hope those are things that my kids will always remember. Low riding is not just a car obsession. For car owners they say it's been a form of self-expression for Latino communities all over the country for decades. It's a labor of love and when you're done with it you just want to get in it and just go for a cruise and let everybody see how it looks. It's a Sunday afternoon, you go out for a cruise with the family. Before you know it, you see one of your friends. And that's what makes this lifestyle so fun, eh? the camaraderie of it, the family atmosphere. These cars are both a time capsule as well as a family investment, but the family and culture focused practice has been controversial. And in, in the late 80s, they amended our state vehicle code to allow cities and counties to ban cruising. And a number of cities did, including Sacramento, based on a lot of stereotypes. Everybody always thinks like, oh, you guys are bad people. You guys don't do anything because of the way that we dress too, especially. It's kind of sad. I think over the last 10, 15 years, the stereotypical typical lowrider is much different than he is now. You know, obviously Hollywood has always portrayed it in a, in a way where, you know, it wasn't a great look for us. Um, that has changed. For more than three decades, some in Latino communities felt targeted by city ordinances banning cruising. They tell me it was a message that their culture was not wanted, and it further propelled stereotypes that lowriding was linked to illegal activity. It may have not always been enforced, but the signs were still there. The kids noticed it. They would say like, well, why don't they want us here? Why? And why is it still in existence? Joe Ayala is a car enthusiast, a lawyer, and a member of the Sacramento Lowrider Commission. This past year was the year their group pushed to get the ban overturned, calling it outdated. With skills from Joe's day job, he helped other members find their inner persuasiveness and finally got the ban on cruising overturned in his city. People are getting to know us and coming up and saying hi, and they're seeing that we're just not a bunch of guys in cars. We're family members with families. I hope lifting these bans across the states and, you know, across the country, that it opens people's eyes to our culture and it's not so stigmatized. More cities are following suit and the group is working to prevent bans from being established again. With the spotlight, the group and culture is getting from these changes they hope for more people to understand and enjoy the art of lowriding. They're all around and, and people who enjoy them, you know, they're just like everyone else. Vanessa Mishania, Scripps News, Sacramento.